Okay, we're ready to start turn number 10 of the Legend of Drizzt board game, adventure number one. Things aren't going super great for us. We've got a ways to go before we'll escape. But uh, let's see what we can do here. So we're immobilized at the start of our turn, but we have this cure potion item that I've been holding on to, and I almost used it in a previous turn, and I'm glad I didn't. So we're going to use it right now. So we're going to gain one hit point and we're going to get rid of this immobilization condition that hit us on the last turn because of that uh, spell web. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we use our cure potion and we'll slide it over here into the discard. It's really hard to pick those up. So we're back up to three points, and our immobilization is gone now. Okay, so we haven't needed to use that healing surge, and now we can probably attack the adjacent monster most likely. You know what? Let me see here. When, see, you can remove your stance token from this card when an adjacent monster hits your hero. If you do, reduce that damage by one. <clears throat> you know, I forgot to do that. But I don't remember off the top of my head if the monster hit me. It probably did. I'm starting to wonder if I played turn number nine correctly. I don't remember. But I forgot to take it off um, so we'll just, we'll just go with it, and hopefully I'll remember to take it off the next time, and reduce my damage by one, because that would certainly be helpful. Alright, so we're going to start off the turn with, uh, let's see, Icing Death, we're just going to attack the adjacent monster. I'm just thinking. And we get basically two tries to kill it, so... Let's go ahead and attack the Goblin Cutter. And a 9. I think we finally hit something. 9 plus 6 is 15, which is enough to take down the Goblin Cutter. So we finally killed something. So that'll go onto our experience pile. And we'll take out the Goblin Cutter. Put it over here. Okay, so we attacked, but we haven't moved yet. And we do get treasure, so let's get our treasure right now. And our treasure is going to be... A potion... <coughs> a potion of healing. Your hero, or one adjacent hero, regains two hit points. So... I guess technically we're still in the hero phase, so I'm just going to use it right now. Because we haven't... Yeah, we haven't moved yet, so we're still in the hero phase. So we gain two hit points, that's good. Takes us up to five. Okay, so now we can move. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's plan on just keeping some distance from the hunting drake for the time being. So let's let's head up north. Let's go uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's five, and then six. Yeah, let's go over that way. So that'll give us enough distance so that this can't attack us this turn. So let's do that. So again, um, like one, two, three, four. Five, six. So we got plenty of speed to get up here. All right. So we attacked. We moved. We got our treasure. We got our hit points. We are exploring. So let's go ahead and draw a new tile. And we got dwarven statue. The, although the name tile doesn't have any meaning for this adventure. And that's a white tile, a white triangle. 
Let's draw it so there will be no encounter. Draw a monster. And we have a spider swarm. Okay, so if it hits us, all it does is poison. I'm not quite sure how the poison mechanic works, so we might have to read about that. And there's our spider swarm. And we'll place that onto the mushroom pile here. Okay, so we got a spider swarm and no condition, <clears throat> no villain. The goblin cutter is gone, but we still have the hunting drake, and now we have a spider swarm. Okay, so at this point, the hunting drake activates, and we saw how it works. It's too far away from us to do damage, so it's going to move two tiles closer. So it's going to go mushroom stack to mushroom stack to mushroom stack. And that's it for its turn. And then the rat swarm will activate. Let's see what it does. If the spider swarm is on a tile with a poisoned hero, each poisoned hero on that tile takes one damage. If the spider swarm is within one tile of a hero, it moves to the closest hero's tile it moves to the closest hero's tile and attacks each hero on that tile with a million venomous fangs okay so it's going to move a mushroom stack to mushroom stack and attack drizzed with a million venomous fangs that's a lot of fangs and if it hits it doesn't do any damage this is actually not a bad creature because if it hits, it doesn't do any damage, and it only does damage to us if we main if we stay on that tile. So, uh, actually, I'll have to read about how the poison thing works. I don't know if we take damage each turn, but oh, let's just hope it misses. So it gets a plus seven. Uh, Ten and seven is just enough to hit us, so we are poisoned. And of course, I didn't take these out of the bag, so. Just lay them up there, and I'll have to read about how what poison does. Let me see. Uh, here it is. You take one damage at the start of your hero phase. Discard this marker at the end of your... Ah, uh, okay. So, not great. So that was the... So we are poisoned. So actually, I shouldn't mark this as nothing until after the turn's over, because I don't actually know... All right, so that is going to be it for turn number 10, and then we'll come back in turn number 11.